Did you know that your inability or hardships of grieving someone and releasing them after they pass over keeps them stuck to the physical plane longer than they need to be? I mean, let's say you lose a family member or a close friend and, or a lover, and this hits hard. And this is something that consumes, consumes you. The grief consumes you. That spirit is unable to pass on completely and complete their transition because they must feel obligated to stay towards this earthly plane to help you and they feel like they have this duty or obligation to stay very earthly, stay stuck to earth. I've been a psychic medium my whole life and I have seen it through the work with my clients. Someone comes to me, maybe they lose a child to um, suicide, maybe they, they lose a child to murder, whatever it may be, like a really intense death of, of someone, that, you know, that, that parent-child relationship, let's say. That family member comes to me, they're grieving hard, I give them the healing messages from their loved one, and then I've seen that person come back to me six, eight months later, hey, I want another reading, I want to connect with them, um, I've been working on myself, working on my grief, but I'd love to hear from them, right? So I connect again, and that spirit is literally on a different plane. Like, I have goosebumps all over my body as I talk about this. Because when I first connect to that spirit, and that person's in a deep grief state, that spirit also feels that. That spirit stuck to earth is not necessarily in that, like, joyous, heavenly, quote-unquote, heavenly feeling that we imagine when someone passes. So your grief actually keeps your loved ones close to earth and unable to transition. This is not trying to make you feel guilty. This is just to bring awareness because we need to know that our healing matters on earth. So again, they come back to me six, eight months later. They've done healing on themselves. And then the spirit who comes to me is like elevated. They feel holy. They feel joyous. They feel majestic. And I've been like shocked in readings. I'm like, is this the same person that just died in, in the last reading that we talked about? Because... This feels like a completely like different being. This is more angelic. And spirit reassured me in some of these readings that it's because the family is doing the grief work. The family is becoming accepting of this death. And so that spirit doesn't feel like they have to cling to earth anymore. They can go elevate and learn their lessons and be kind of of a higher vibration and go towards the light more because you have decided to heal your grief. So know that Living with grief is normal, but you also need to release it to release your loved one into the destiny that they deserve on the other side. Everything is bigger than just, boom, flash a light, you're dead, you go to heaven, God's there. There is so much that goes into the other side as well as here. But that's just a kind of a glimpse of why it's important to heal your grief.